हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल इफ़ यू हैव नॉट ऑलरेडी सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल प्लीज़ डू सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल टुडेज टॉपिक इज अबाउट डू ओवर एरे एन इजी वे टू कोड फॉर डूइंग सेम एक्शन ऑन मेनी वेरिएबल्स इन सैस नाउ लेट्स क्विकली लुक इन टू एन एग्जाम्पल इन हीयर आई हैव अ डेटा सेट टेस्ट वन इन हीयर आई हैव फोर वेरिएबल्स डेस्क चेयर टेबल एंड सोफा एंड यू कैन सी दैट देर आर सम मिसिंग वैल्यूज for each of this variable goal is to replace this missing value with zero if we have to do it in a traditional way what i can do simply is i can write if desk equal to missing then desk equal to zero if chair is missing then chair equal to zero and so and so forth till all the variables now you can see that we are writing the same thing over and over again how can we avoid this we can simply avoid this by using an array let us quickly run this code and also i want to say that i have also have a code for proc printing the result which i have in here let us quickly run this code here in the results you can see that missing values are replaced by zero instead of writing the same thing over and over and over again what we can simply do is we can create an array here i am creating an array by using the keyword array and giving an array name and all the variables which i want to be the part of this array in here and all i need to do now is i need to say do over the array name which i have mentioned in in here and then i need to say if that my array name is missing then my array is zero what this will do is it will look into all the variable missing values and then replaces it with zero and i don't have to always mention all the variables like this instead i can do a simple shortcut in here i'm using all the numeric variables so i can say underscore numeric underscore or i can also have another shortcut instead of desk chair table sofa i can have first variable and last variable and i can have hyphen and hyphen this means this is my starting variable and this is my last variable which are part of my array before wrapping up this topic i would like to mention one last thing in general we define array as shown in here where in the parenthesis after array name we mention number of the variables in the parenthesis in here this number of variables are also known as elements and then we loop through all the variables as shown in here again we do not need this kind of approach if we are going to do the same kind of action on many variables all we need to do is we need to use do over my array kind of structure the difference between both of them is not mentioning array elements and also not looping through each element and the style in which we are mentioning number of elements is known as explicit way of defining an array whereas this is known as implicit way of defining an array and here you can see that we were able to decrease our code from many lines to very few lines in here by using do over array that's all for this topic If you have liked this topic please give it a thumbs up share and subscribe thank you